Hey there guys, what's up? Ragtor here, welcoming you back to Ladder Anxiety. Competitive games can be pretty intimidating, but I'm gonna make it my job to show that they can be fun and relaxing too. And today we're on Pokemon Showdown, and I think we're just gonna do a normal random battle. We're just gonna get with whoever we get put with. We're gonna have fun, we're gonna get six random Pokemon, and I got a Darkrai. So that's something to be pretty excited about, I'm not gonna lie. I wish they didn't show it first, but... You do what you do. So let's see, we also have an Ampipom, a Cloyster, a Fortress, a Ho-Oh, and an Amoongus. So we've got a pretty good mix there. I'm gonna go for a Dark Void. And she's gonna bring out Heracross. I'm guessing that this Heracross might have Sleep Talk? Maybe a Chesto Berry? Nope, no Chesto Berry. Well, I definitely don't want to stay in with this poor fella. And I've actually got to do something pretty quick about this Heracross because all of my Pokemon are pretty weak to it. So let's get Darkrai out of there. Oh, and actually, Joko Toto's gonna forfeit. And you know, Joko Toto must not have been enjoying the game very much, but that's okay. I hope Joko Toto has a good day in the end. And we'll just leave that battle. We'll look for another one. It's not really much of a win, but hey. That could be a little confidence booster if you need one. So <laughs> this is not a good, very good matchup, but hey. That's not a problem. Against this Gliscor, we also have Deoxys Attack, a Love Disc, Deonsi, who is our Mega, Ditto, and an Eveltal. So I think a cool thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into Ditto, and since it's got the Imposter, it's going to become all nice and Gliscor-y, and I get to see what this thing set is. So he's got a Toxic, Toxic or Brother, so there's no point in going for a knockoff. And I can't Toxic Stall this guy, but he can't really hurt me much either. So that's pretty interesting, actually. <laughs> we have reached an impasse. I'm going to go for a knockoff, just cuz. Just to do a little bit of damage. He's going to go for a knockoff. He's actually going to get a crit. going to take away my Choice Scarf. Neither of us can really hurt each other. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go into Deonsi. Deonsi? I'm actually not sure how to pronounce this Pokemon's name. Because it can't be knocked off, it resists the knockoff, and I should be able to set something up. So let's go, Queen of the Fairies, or whatever it is you are. Oh, excuse me. And... Phew, not really the best attacking options here. I could go for Diamond Storm, that could be pretty fun. But Glasgow is pretty defensively bulky, so I think I'll go for a Moon Blast instead just to hit it on that special side. Ooh, that earthquake's gonna rock and roll me. Moonblast is gonna be pretty significant in the damage side though. So, now I should be able to outspeed. Let's go for a Moonblast again now that I'm all nice and quick. And very elegant, it must be said. My opponent taking his time to consider, and that's okay. There's no need to rush. Dancy is gonna pick up a KO against the Gliscor. And hopefully this doesn't drive my opponent to quit, because that would make me very upset. Well, it wouldn't make me very upset. It would be disheartening, but at the end of the day, not a big deal. You just take these things as they come. So my opponent has brought out Azelf. I wonder for what purpose. It definitely outspeeds me, so that could be something. Let's go into Ditto one more time, just to see what this Azelf is capable of. We'll preserve Diancie for a little later. It's got a pretty good speed stat, so we could probably bring it in against something else. And then we get Ditto, and Azelf is going to go for a Psy Shock. So just looking to pick up the Revenge Kill, obviously. Oh, but it's got Nasty Plot. Now that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Dazzling Gleam, Nasty Plot, Fire Blast. Do I stay in with this information in mind? Let's go for it. I'll go for a nasty plot. Do... Oh, but he gets a critical hit. <laughs> That's okay, though. So now, let's see. He had a dazzling gleam. A nasty plot and a psy shock. I actually can't remember the fourth move now. <laughs> Oh dear, that probably says something about me. Well, Deoxys attack. I have to sneeze. 
<coughs> My apologies. Interrupting the old recording for some sneezles. <clears throat> but there's no sneezles in this game, at least not yet. So we're going to get our knockoff. And Azelf is going to go down. Its life orb is not enough to keep it in the game. Or rather, the life orb is what knocked it out of the game, I suppose you could say. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm all frazzled because of my sneeze now. In my family, the males have a curse where we all have to sneeze multiple times. At least two and three and sometimes four. It's it's quite uh, an impediment, you could say. But we now have an advantage over our opponent. We have knocked out two of theirs. He's only knocked out one of ours. But that doesn't mean the game couldn't change. And I'm pretty excited to see if it will. So my opponent's going to bring out this Bronzong. I'm pretty curious as to why. Perhaps it wants to explode. It takes the knockoff, and it takes it very well, actually. It's going to be able to get off an attack of some kind. It's going to get off its gyro ball and take me out of the game. Unfortunate, but... We got a lot done with that Pokemon, so I'm not upset. Now it's time for Electivire to take the stage again. And I think I'm going to go for a safe little Volt Switch. Get some priority, perhaps, if he wants to s keep this Bronzong around for later. What item did I knock off? It had leftovers, so it's not a, uh, a clay variety. My opponent's going to bring out that Vile Plume, so I'm going to get a nice switch. And I've got just the Pokemon for you, Vile Plume. I introduce you to Eveltal with its Dark Aura. So this file plume's got some black sludge. Let's go for a hurricane and see if it wants to stick around. I'm guessing the vile plume is going to be expecting this flying type move, so maybe Nope, just gonna stay and take it. Critical hit. <laughs> Evelto gets its own KO under its belt. Not bad at all. I wonder what else my opponent has up his sleeve, however. We must take these things with a grain of salt. The game could change at any time, and as I keep saying, it's perfectly okay if it does. It doesn't have to be an upsetting thing to lose, and it doesn't have to be the best thing in the world to win. We could just have a good time for the sake of it. So I'm expecting the ice move, Six Ways to Sunday. I think a cool thing I want to do is I want to go into Love Disc and get a Toxic off. He's actually just going to do the same. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Okay. Let's see what our Toxic will be capable of. Dugong and Love Disc both level 83 pretty interestingly enough. Evidently the randomizer does not consider them very, very high tiered Pokemon. And you know what? That's okay. Oh, so he was predicting the Toxic himself maybe? Or the, maybe he has the dry skin. That must be it. Either way, my Toxic is completely useless at this point. So I think one thing I'm going to do with Love Disc before it goes down is I'm going to go for the Sweet Kiss. And we're going to try and confuse this Toxic Rogue. Maybe get a little damage off onto it before we do go down ourselves. I don't really need this Love Disc, so I don't mind saying goodbye to it. And I could honestly win with Electivire, maybe. If I can bring it in on an optimum switch. <clears throat> I'm pretty confident going ahead, but I have to play carefully or my opponent could run away with this game. Either way, it's been a very interesting night and I hope that in showing you the bit of adversity we're currently facing, you overcome some of your own anxieties as well. Because, just because, because, just because. Just because I can't say words properly or I might make a misplay or two, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You too can have fun. And I think that's really the best thing here, is that we can just sit down and enjoy Pokemon together. Now my opponent is taking his sweet time, so I'm going to give it in about another 15 seconds before I hit that timer. And if my opponent doesn't want to participate actively in the battle, well that's okay. It's got a lot to think about, probably got a lot to do. Let's start that timer. <laughs> Just get that going. We'll have that running. 
And you know what? We can take the opportunity to relax. So, Toxicroak is going to avoid the sweet kiss. Very unfortunate indeed, but we do get the opportunity to go for a second one. So let's do that right now. Toxicroak avoids it once again, and we do lose poor Love Disk to the Drain Punch, but this is the perfect opportunity to bring in a different Pokemon. Now, all signs would point to Eveltal, but we could just as easily bring in Diancy and get off a Psyshock. Now, I am half expecting the Sucker Punch, but I resist that, so there we go. Gonna take Toxicroak out of the game with a well-placed Psy Shock. Now, let's see what my opponent brings in in retaliation. Diancy's speed might be the deciding factor here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gonna bring in the Dugong. So, let's see. 284 attack and 284 special attack. This Dugong's not going to enjoy taking a Diamond Storm. Let's go for that. Knocks it down to a 5%. Goodness gracious, Diancy is going to go down, but it was a valiant effort nonetheless. Well done, Diancy. And I think we can clean up with old Electivire here. So go on, Electivire. You show it your Wild Charge attack. <laughs> uh, Electivire didn't really get to... Well, actually, Electifier is kind of the reason we won. Because... Look, I mean... Really, it's hard to pay, pin down one MVP here. <laughs> and my opponent is going to forfeit. Since he stayed in the chat, I'm going to say GG and a happy face. And I think that's going to wrap up this episode. It was a relatively chill one, and I'm not going to lie, I am a little off my game now because of my sneezing and my nose is a bit clogged. But... I think we had fun nonetheless. We won another battle, but we don't always have to win to have fun. We can always learn something from losing. And random battles are always a good way to pass the time, because they don't involve much team building. You can just sit down and have a nice battle. So if you're looking for something to do, give a random battle a try. <clears throat> I'm running out of breath, so I'm going to end this episode here. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment down below telling me how much fun you've had, and I will see you next time on Ladder Anxiety, hopefully to make you feel just a little bit better. Until then, thanks for watching, take care, and have a good one. Bye bye